everyone and welcome back welcome to another video of uber eats clone and in this video we are going to write controllers services for the restaurant service so this is restaurant service running we just have a default endpoint what we are going to do add all the other required uh, apis for the restaurant service so first of all let's try to document what all we need okay so i will just try to so you can have a pen and pencil and try to draw this so these are the rest apis we are writing http rest apis okay and what all resources verbs methods we need so we already have a endpoint something like this api v1 restaurant so this is our resource now what else we can do on this restaurant search because end user will actually do the search api v1 restaurant search and then here you can pass the query parameters the resource like like latitude longitude and uh, maybe a pagination on top of that so you will pass a lot of things as a query parameter or path parameter so let's say you are going to pass query params so this is a search api now apart from that this is search right there will be a post call simply forward slash right this is going to be http post what it will do is it will it will be about creating a new restaurant right post that is to create a new create a new restaurant let me just move it down okay this is a post and then you will have a get by id if you want to get a restaurant i mean you can get any restaurant but when it comes to update because this is http get this is http put you can only update a restaurant which you own means there is a field owned by your owner if your id matches to that owner because currently what we are saying is if you are a restaurant admin there will be only one restaurant admin for one restaurant so there will be one owner who can do put update delete patch all the update operations on the restaurant entity i mean restaurant we can consider as an organization but that's like a, a scalability that's like a change in the requirements to a new level restaurant can be organization and you can onboard a multiple restaurant admins and they can access the resources update delete patch whatever currently we are thinking there is a one restaurant admin per restaurant so he can actually do the put get restaurant is a public api which is give you the restaurant details but you can also put you can delete delete is not allowed but we will have a api is available for it so it's like a simple crud for you create update delete and once you create you will also be creating addresses like the locations we will be saving it okay this is all about restaurant now once you create a restaurant you will get an id of the restaurant right now you will start adding a dish so api v1 restaurant now the next resource we are going to have is api v1 restaurant So restaurant we already have so it can be dishes dishes so when it comes to the dishes what it will give you it will give you all the dishes of that particular restaurant okay like all the the menu items dishes and all you will fetch it and there may might be a conflict of this get api and this get api so that depends on how we are writing in the nestjs router okay or we will change the path here this api will do is fetch all menu items otherwise what you will do is you will have a, have a post which will do is create new dish
where you will pass the payload okay this is my dash these are the thumbnail images for the dash this is the type all the configurations about the dash menu equations equations type uh, description some images price whatever the properties we already have in that entity so get post you can also delete delete will be based on id and of all those things we will do the check of permissions like you can delete and you can update now who can delete and who can update if you are not a restaurant admin if you don't own the restaurant then you are not allowed to delete or update the dish items right so for what we will check because you will be passing the restaurant id here let's say put that in the resource this is restaurant id and then dishes right so here right now i'm accessing this particular restaurant and adding the dishes so getting all the dishes creating a new dish updating this dish deleting this dish right so based on this id we will always check okay restaurant exists restaurant active are you the restaurant admin yes then you can update delete the dish menu items for the restaurant so it's all about okay update and delete another crud but based on some resource permissions which are already in place and you can also list down because i'm just thinking okay all these will be a paginated request menu items if this is a very big because we are going to fetch default only maybe a 20 or 30 top uh, menu items for a restaurant and here in the search search we will decide what tools and technologies we will use currently we are thinking to query it in the postgres but we need to search it through the elastic search because there will be ratings there will be a overall popularity of a restaurant so that if you are doing a search based on the lat long i will give you the best results it's not like random from the created date i just sort an order by and give you the results so this is api v1 restaurant id dishes now next resource we are going to create is because you can also mark a dish favorite right so here we can do it only so that will be for the end users not for the restaurant admins so likes and dislikes how would we do it so i will be either marketing uh, this restaurant as uh, my favorite so if if you are marking this restaurant as a favorite api even restaurant id and you can do a patch request i mean you are not going to update the restaurant uh, resource how do we mark it either we create another route which is favorite so in this favorite you will have a get and post get means it will give you all your favorites and post means or patch means you wanted to mark this uh, restaurant as your favorite similarly this favorite will be available at both the places restaurant id dishes you can mark this restaurant as your favorite based on the id id favorite get and patch and this is you already have a dishes so this particular dish i like i'm i'm marking that as a favorite so either you can fetch all your favorites in that case you don't need this dish id you can just do a forward slash favorites it will give you this we can decide at the run time what we need to do so here we are marking the the restaurant as your favorite your dish menu item is your favorite and we are just going to store okay who marked this favorite the the user id the end user and the dish id who marked it favorite a uh, uh, user and the restaurant id your favorite restaurant your favorite dish that's just like another table which will store your relationship user id and the dish id user id and the restaurant id and while fetching it we will do typo or typo or i'm going to fetch the data but these are the the apis which i can I can think of in building the restaurant service the main api is the search because that gives you the overall overview and here in the search 
we are going to fetch the restaurant restaurant address and restaurant dish menu items because when you fetch the results at least the top dish menu items should be there on the restaurant it's not like okay you i give you the name description i need to give all the menu items and all in the restaurant so first you do the search okay i am looking for the restaurant at this location now we'll just usually just give a thumbnail name description maybe a average pricing for two or some couple of more attributes when you click on it the user should get the whole menu so either you make the the front end will make the api call after moving into the restaurant page or you give it right away so we are going to think about how we can aggregate this data so we are going to use elastic search and how we can index the data so because what will happen is you are creating a new restaurant updating the dish menu item creating a new dish menu item all those things also needs to populate in the elastic search for the restaurant so this is like interesting new learning otherwise building the cred api is everybody knows right now okay how to create uh, the http resources so what we are going to do is let's say you are creating any user is creating a restaurant so we need to create a hook so that we can populate this data in the elastic search so if anybody is searching okay uh, i need this uh, information i i want to see all the restaurant near nearby so i should be able to fetch it when you are updating a dish menu item i need to synchronize that data in the elastic search so postgres is the data source where i will have the data and i will do the asynchronous synchronization in the elastic search because the search queries are relied on the elastic search and elastic search will have a lot many criteria which restaurant to put first based on the likes favorites ratings comments reviews based on that we will do the evaluation so for that elastic search in the query we can specify all those parameters okay how we can do it and elastic search is the best option for it or there are some open search and all the other tools which can also do the same so it's a new learning or uh, interesting learning we are going to do on the elastic search creating the index populating these decent documents into the elastic search and then doing a search simple search and also this hook will do a synchronization means we are going to access the elastic search apis to create update delete resources in the elastic search okay so what i will do is now it's all about creating controllers so this is my auth service which will have a just auth strategy in the restaurant let's create a controller controller and services in the controller we will just create a restaurant controller.ts So there will be three controllers we can create restaurant dish controller and then restaurant uh, okay restaurant controller restaurant dish controller is the main restaurant favorite controller where you will cover both dish and the restaurant coming to the controller uh, i can just copy the code whatever we have in these controllers instead of writing the whole from the beginning so let's go to uh, auth service inside user controller i will copy something and then restaurant service go to restaurant controller and i will keep replacing things from here authorization validation pipe we need api tags service okay till okay so i will just place it restaurant controller so or i will just say add missing imports <clears throat> so 
okay user entity user service we don't have all these things so we'll just try to remove we still need auth card and access token guard and remove things which we don't need okay so here restaurant controller we also need to create a restaurant service i mean these are the notations for the the swagger docs if you want to customize it okay this particular api can send 200 500 403 or all the the required status code you can document here and it's all about uh, you can say search right so it's just like it's the return code will be 200 for the search and access token guard it's a protected api and open to the public we will see because access token api i don't think it should be protected because any user can come and randomly search it should be a public api so you will remove it it's all about search he is fetching the data not creating any resource and here inside the restaurant we are going to create services restaurant service restaurant market as a favorite service okay service also we can copy the injectable and basic stuff for service so we are inside user service from there we will copy the b6 skeleton i just want to avoid repetition writing the whole code again restaurant service this is restaurant service we will see what is required and we will remove things out these entities uh, we will replace auth service we don't need we will have a repository restaurant entity okay so the restaurant repo and the restaurant entity so this is like a repository we are injecting and this is restaurant service this restaurant service now we can inject inside our controller i mean a basic crud which i can also skip instead of talking about this <coughs> and here what we are doing uh, let's say it's a simple search search restaurant so what we will do is we'll call uh, the service method just update all these descriptions successfully search restaurants based on let long api this is api operation means this is what the api will do api ok response is what will happen what it is going to return return the list of restaurant successfully okay this is api ok response we are repeating now you can also define the response dto which will say okay because what these things are doing these are just putting some messages on the swagger so api okay response uh, this is the type and you can also add a type here type means there will be a we are going to create a custom type that will tell you okay these are the properties it is going to return in the response once you hit this api right so we'll we are going to create a response dto for that and then we can add a type this is available api ok response when the status code is 200 otherwise if the status code here is created let's say that means it is going to create uh, return 201 in that case you will just use this api created response and here you will say description okay resource created successfully and once the resource is created you will also add a type and that type will be available in the swagger that this is going to the sample json 
sample schema it is going to return once it is written and type is nothing but we are going to create a DTO folder and inside DTO we are going to create types so first of all restaurant type restaurant.dto.ts because these DTOs will have enough code so we are going to create a separate separate DTOs dot dto dot ts restaurant dot dish dot dto okay and these are the dto's which will help you to build the types so let's say in the user service were we using any dto's i think yes we used a couple of them so i will copy one and then extend it user service and then we are going to the restaurant service DTOs so in the restaurant DTO I will just name all these rename all these things because for the creating the restaurant we need some payload and we are already using validation pipes here which will validate the payload and then here is the controller so it will be restaurant authorization is already enabled means you need to have a authorization token being passed here so status for now is this ok and then we are just going to return api ok ok response and this is going to return something which we will decide ok we are going to pass the details like the query parameter body payload and all those things we are going to pass all those things in the query param so we are going to define that inside a DTO, restaurant DTO. There we are going to define the, the payload DTO, query DTO, path param DTO and all. And those we are going to use in the respective controllers. So I don't want to make this as a bigger video. So let's see the rest of the restaurant APIs in the next video.